and welcome to your Go Market Update for today, the 20th of September. Hope you're all good and well today. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst, Go Markets here with your wander around what's happening in markets now. Of course, overnight we had a positive session for the US to break a three day losing streak. All major indices moved higher, though we still suspect a volatile week is on the cards, particularly with the FOMC beginning their two day meeting today, culminating, of course, in the US interest rate decision. At this stage, US futures are higher in Asian trading after that positive start. And so we did see some follow through. Asian indices are also following that positive US lead. ASX was up in excess of a percent, but it's just moved down to about a percent of the upside. All 11 sectors pointing to a higher move today. Uh, European equity futures are also pointing to a higher open, uh, but really uh, caution is the order of the day really in light of what's coming out in the next 48 hours uh, the us dollar index closed towards the low of the session yesterday on equity strength it is near support but failed to break through that rejected a move through that in fact uh, gold bounced slightly to around about 1675 off its 1660 low that we haven't seen for two years and all rejected a move through support and remains in a tight range between 90 and 95 on the Brent crude contract CFD. Copper didn't move much, but is holding 350 relatively comfortably. And the VIX, although did drop a little bit on that equity strength, does remain over the 25 key level. We did see Bitcoin retest and bounce off that long-term 18.6 thousand support to continue last week's softness. A little higher today, but certainly no significant buying pressure evident. Though, of course, we have an interesting couple of days ahead. The People's Bank of China didn't change interest rates this morning as expected. We've also had the RBA minutes released. Little signs of any impact at all on the AUD. Later on, we've got German PPI, US housing and of course, Canadian CPI. Of course, the latter will have little impact outside of what happens with the Canadian dollar. A couple of charts of interest this morning that caught our eye. Uh, we're going to start with the euro kiwi you can see there we've had a really strong session with the euro in today's trading general weakness in the kiwi as well so this looked like a good pair to keep an eye we're going to break through 168.55 resistance so possible a move possibly a move up to around about this 169.30 uh, this is taken from a four hourly chart we need to take it right back to early july before we see it last at this level so possibly a 60 to 65 pip up move on that. On the ASX, we're seeing further strength in Parenti Global Limited, Tico PRN. You can see we've had a little pause here. Uh, so we've got an eye on this 96 level uh, with a test of $1 on the cards. We think the higher probability trade would be if it breaks $1, but certainly $1 to keep on your radar. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.